So where the hell have I been? I found the most rocking, most given community on earth, and I just disappeared. I've been on sort of a journey, soul searching if you will. I wanted to bring value to the community. But how the hell was I supposed to do that? I'm not the biggest snipe expert. I'm not the master steel snob. I don't even have the most grand knife collection. But one thing that stood out to me was that you guys liked my sort of cinematic style storytelling and my reviews. So I took a few weeks off. I was pretty silent. No posts on Instagram, no posts on YouTube, but I wasn't being lazy. I was studying, I was hustling, I was trying to hone and perfect my craft. It was pretty hard. But finally, and while I have so much more to learn, and I'm not the best at it, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this thing. This is your boy in the NYC, it's me Ray, and I'm bringing you the EDCC. That's Everyday City Carry. Let's take a look at the specs real quick. Now to me, the most important spec in a knife is the price. And the price is just right. If you've been on this channel before, you know what time it is. It's time for what's dope about it, what's whack about it, or if you should forget about it. So what's dope about it? The action. This thing is as smooth as they come. You can flip this thing all day, even with all your fingers. This is one of the smoothest knives I picked up in 2017. Rivaling models that cost two or three times more. The fin finish is so damn good on this. I mean, just look at this knife. You got this really nice, grippy carbon fiber. It's got this sort of holographic looking thing on it. The titanium has sort of like a bronze sort of spotting. I'm not even sure if that adds to the grippiness as well, because this thing is super grippy. Same thing with the blade. I mean, I'm not really too into black blades, but they did a really good job on this one. The build quality is pretty incredible too. It's really sturdy. I put this thing through its paces. I brought it to work for an entire week, and that was a really, really busy week. I didn't feel this thing sort of giving out or anything like that. Now, for the price that you pay, the materials, man, they're pretty crazy. You've got OS 8 steel, which is, you know, better than ATR 13 MOV in my opinion. You've got titanium handles, titanium with carbon fiber. Black coating on the blade too. I like the design, you know, it's got that whole tactical thing. I'm not really too into that, but this knife, man, I just love this thing. It's got design jimping as well as functional jimping. And take a look at this pivot, the pivot areas. You've got that little blue ring on both sides. That's just a little added bonus, a little added flair that, man, for the price point, it's ridiculous. Now, the black coating on the blade. I usually don't like this stuff because it just comes off, gets scratched up, and then you have to worry about it. But I beat the crap out of this thing. And yeah, this coating hasn't come off, it hasn't even been damaged. Now, let's go back to the carbon fiber for a little bit. Man, this thing has got some grip to it. I don't know if you guys uh, know about it, but it just feels so different from other carbon fiber handles that I have. It's just got this texturing to it. It really adds to the grip of the knife. It's great. The lockup is, I'd say, at about 25% to me, maybe even less than 25%, so it's kind of early. You know, I'll let you be the judge of that. I don't really have a preference as long as the lock doesn't fail on me. That's really all I care about. What's whack about it? 
So the pocket clip, it's not really ultra deep carry. You know me, I live in New York City. Man, I would have that invisible carry if I could. Yo, Spyderco, invent that. With this pocket clip, you got about a quarter inch sticking out. Now, if we take a look at the jimping, the jimping, it sort of is on the spine of the knife, on the handles, I mean, and then it keeps going, you know, it's pretty consistent. But when it gets to the very, very top, like right where the pivot area meets, there's no jimping there, you know, and for someone like me, I would probably want that there, even though, don't get me wrong, there's no wishy-washy slipperiness when you're cutting with this knife, man, and I don't know if that was a design choice or not, because if you were to put jimping there, it would just be like jimping all across the spine all the way to the blade and that might look kind of weird didn't want to break it up I just thought I should mention it it's not a big deal though 3.3 inches on the blade now that's fine actually for New York City but my personal preference is 3 inches or lower lower what the yeah well let me tell you something 0.3 inches could mean the difference between getting a slap on the wrist or going to jail and calling your wife <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's definitely something I don't want to do. Now the last thing I've got to mention, if you want to pick this up, you got to mention the Chinese shipping. Now it takes freaking forever. I don't know how they ship it. Like bike messenger, dolphin, you know, like seal or whatever. Because this thing takes so long. Every time I've ordered from DHgate or AliExpress, they've never screwed me. I've never not gotten something. But I've forgotten about shit, man. Like. I've forgo literally forgotten that I've ordered it, and then I get it like months later, and then you know, I have it, but you definitely should be aware of that. Man, it's like as if the knife swims along on its own to get here, man, you know? It's trying to immigrate to shit. So should you forget about it? Absolutely not. As surprising as this may sound, this is probably one of the smoothest knives I picked up in 2017. Pricing is well within the material criteria of the knife. I don't even know if that makes sense, but you know what I'm talking about. You get carbon fiber, titanium, Aussie instead of HCR13 MOV at 60 bucks. That's like the highest price I've seen it for on AliExpress or DHgate. The ergos are great, fish paw friendly. That's important to me. Who got the fish paws? And the handle has grip that I can't even explain because I'm just a noob and I'm not used to this sort of thing. I don't know if it's the coating or whatever, but both the titanium and the carbon fiber sides on the handle are grippy. Even the blade is grippy, man. I can't explain the damn thing. It's just crazy. The whole thing is just grip city. Just get the knife, man. You get my thumbs up on it. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC saying peace.